Jackson Radio Show. Welcome back, everybody. Kevin Jackson here. It's the Kevin Jackson Show. Glad you're with me. We think we produce one of the funniest shows on the Internet, and we'd love for you. Well, it's not just the Internet, but one of the funniest shows out there. But on our Internet side, where you can download the segments and what have you, not listening through live stream, we'd like you to promote them. So please do go to KJRadio.com and do that. If you want to talk to me, reach out on Facebook, Tea Party Community. You might uh, go to TeaPartyCommunity.org versus .com. We had some issues with the site, but get on there and chat with us. We'd love to have you there. And Facebook, I hate to bring, you know, bring these guys up, but Facebook and Twitter, I'm, I'm available there too. Whoo. Anyway, lots to talk about. My producers are still trying to figure out how Harvey Weinstein had a sexless business arrangement with Georgina Chapman and they have two children together. And I said, y'all are trying to get all up in the man's business. Yeah, I don't know either, but you know, how do you do it? Is it any of our business how they decided to, to copulate? Maybe they were like snakes. Maybe they did it in a Petri dish. Who knows? I don't even know if they are his children. Maybe that's what they're telling us. Maybe that's the story. Maybe Harvey, it's been years of angst. No, I, it predated their marriage. Uh, we can't use that as an excuse. Uh, I don't know. Maybe the idea of a sexist business arrangement between Harvey Fein Weinstein and Georgina Chapman is a farce. Because I'm going to tell you what, if Kevin Jackson marries Georgina Chapman, we're consummating the marriage. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> yeah. Isn't that what married people do? Okay, hide the kids. Just talking about marriage and, you know, coupling. Gwyneth Paltrow, when she got divorced, what did she call it? She called it a voluntary decoupling or or like, a, what was the word she used? Like happy decoupling or something. What a weirdo. And and Brad Pitt was ready to fight Harvey Weinstein over this weirdo. But Brad, glad you saved your knuckles, dude. Oh, man, the sexual sexual harassment that is now being exposed. It's I think it's 33 women now that they know about. Trust me when I tell you. Trust and believe, people. There's a there's at least 100. At least. You don't get to Harvey Weinstein. Look, find a picture, find every movie Harvey Weinstein ever made and look at the list of stars. OK, anybody that he even interviewed, find them. Find the ones that he was going to make a movie about and the women ended up not being in the movies. You know, they they chose another actress. Find those women. Get their stories. It's hundreds. It, I'm telling you, it's at least a hundred if it's not hundreds, period. Right? We're not, come on, we're not that naive. We know there's more. Guy's a, a predator beyond belief. And the... the I keep coming back to this idea of how many people knew. I mean, they knew this. Hollywood was giving us hints, sub, sub, you know, just subliminal in, in various pictures, you know, in, in, in TV shows, in award shows. And Harvey would sit out there and laugh. Ha, 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 ha. You don't have the guts to say anything. <laughs> Good one. What was the guy's name? McFarland, good one, Seth McFarland. <laughs> that subtle shot at me, you know. Then Meryl Streep gets up there. Harvey's God. <laughs> you're right, Meryl. I am. Too bad you're not cute enough for me to show you just how much of a god I am. <laughs> he got covered. He he was covered. I mean, you couldn't plot his coverage better if you were demonic and you were Doctor Evil and went, okay. I'm going to sexually harass and rape women for decades. Now I need to provide cover. I'll I'll befriend Democratic presidents. I'll have all my charity work touch every star that comes out. I'll donate to their charities and I will work with the administrators. I will make sure that all of my people are compensated so well. And I'll get them into debt. So they have to have my paycheck. I'll pay them more than they'll ever make anywhere else. <laughs> you know, and all the other things. What would you, I mean, I would leave something out. And the forensic people would go, Kevin was almost there. But he forgot this one thing. 
And apparently Hardy did. What did he forget? I don't know. Did he get just too big for his britches, as they say in the country? I don't know. Was it Rose McGowan that did it? I don't know. I don't know. But I know this. The cat's out of the bag. And the Democrats, I mean, this this is so big because it, it has that political. See, if it didn't have the political link, it wouldn't be quite the story, right? wouldn't be quite there but it's got that political thing it's got all these democrats hardcore democrat a bundler for obama major donor to democrats supporter of all their charities this dude hasn't been spotted within a hundred miles of a republican or a conservative he hated us he made movies against us movies against the cops he hates everything we stand for because we would have exposed him oh yeah Give yourselves a pat on the back, conservatives, that you or those people are not generally in our midst unless their left is hiding out. And don't misunderstand me. Conservatives have our issues. We do. But we're not like Harvey. We will get help. We'll try. We will acknowledge our failings and our shortcomings. Hey, speaking of which, the sexual harassment people, these leftists, the DNC plotted fake sexual harassment against Donald Trump. They plotted this. This is a WikiLeaks leak. <laughs> I guess I don't need to say the leak, but it's a WikiLeak. <laughs> this says this. This is a, an email. Just talk to Jackie. Apparently, because we're talking about sexual harassment, the defamation risk is really high, but he hasn't been litigious yet. So this is a letter that came from WikiLeaks where they were saying, you know what? We might try the sexual harassment angle against Trump, even though it could backfire. We could get a defamation suit, but he hasn't sued yet. Now, the reason why they didn't do it is because they looked at Trump's record of suing and said, you know what? He will likely sue us. But they were still debating it. Would it hurt the campaign? Is it good? Is it bad or whatever? But they were plotting against Trump. No, well, I want you to understand well, while the left is n knows, not just is knowing the left knows presently as we speak, as in present tense, right this minute, they know that there are sexual predators in their midst. They know who they are. How many of these people have said this? I, there are other people who have done these things. I'm waiting on somebody else. We talked about Terry Crews who gets grabbed in his crotch by a guy in front of his wife and does nothing. He doesn't even say anything. He just kind of, whatever. I tell you what, grab my crotch and watch what happens. See if I say something. I mean, it amazes me that these people are in our midst and they don't want to speak out. Corey Feldman still hasn't said who's molested him. He, he cleared Michael Jackson, but he hasn't said who's molested him. Why? Why haven't these others spoken out? This is the Kevin Jackson Radio Show.